We love Luca on this show. We like to joke, or I do, that he's got some Negro tendencies. It For seems sure. like he's really developing his blackness. So I want to know what's the blackest thing that you've seen Luca do? <laughs> God damn! Like that. That's still like, yeah, that. Gotta that's be black. up there. That got to be up there. Like, what kind of hot sauce guy is he? Like, is he? You know, is he hitting the Franks? Is he hitting the, the Crystal? Like, oh man, <laughs> I know he's not Tabasco. I just nah, 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 nah. He's nah, not. He's no, like get nah, that nah, shit away nah, from me. He, <laughs> he nah, he, he got his black car for sure, bro. He just. <laughs> the, the the swag he play with is crazy. Like he, he, I think the the best part is when he starts calling out what he's gonna do. No way. It takes, it takes like you gotta be really nice to do that. Like like that's some Larry Bird shit. Oh yeah, like yeah. I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna post up one leg faint. Like yeah, watch what I do to him. Have, have you heard hey, Lucas say right. finna? Has Lucas said finna? <laughs> you know, I'm serious. Is he I've heard I've heard him finger? say I've heard him say cap. Oh, okay. Okay. I heard him say cap. Is he telling a defender this or are he telling you like, look what I'm gonna do to this man? Here's the thing though. If I'm sitting right here and he's like, Spence, look what I'm about to do. More he's telling the and I'm just he standing right here. Right. He just, yeah, yeah, he yeah, just yeah. kind of <laughs> sort of being polite. Right, right, right. Not that's, to start a fight. I think that's more fucked up more yeah. when y'all are having a convo yeah. about me and I'm not even involved in right it. Right there, like you ain't there. Yeah. Like yeah. I can hear y'all, Luca. He's hey, listen, man. L D got game, bro. You were just start laughing, like you know when he's doing it, and it's like you're trying to be serious. Oh no! Nah, when and you... when he gets to cooking and we get a lead, yeah, I start laughing. <laughs> like, cause cause you start. I mean, look, it's inevitable, man. Yeah. If a dude's going for like forty, then fifty, you know what I'm saying, and and the score is climbing, and you know you're up by like fifteen points or so, you naturally start to kind of watch the game. Like it just is what it is. Yeah. Like that. You know what I'm saying? If you're down like five, you're like, oh no, I gotta get this stop, blah, sure. blah, whatever. But if you up like 12, 15, you kind of start just watching. Grab some popcorn. Like, when yeah. Luca had the 60 point triple double, were you kind of like glancing up, seeing no. it like on the boards? You didn't even know until after. Nah, because we were getting smoked. So, <laughs> so we had to come back. Nah, bro, like I had like I had, yeah, that, yeah, I almost had like 30 yeah. that game, bro. We, no, we were getting we were getting lit up. So you're not Slow even because you don't want to see what the score looks no. like. You just know we're getting smacked. Yeah, right we were getting smacked. We, we had like like nine points in like two seconds to even get to overtime. Yeah, right, ridiculous. right, right, right. I remember that. Yeah, that was, like, that was a record in itself, wasn't it? Like yeah. that never been done before. Yeah. yeah, like it was, yeah, no. How like, was it being was in that there. game? Like how, what was the experience with all these records being broken in, you know what I'm saying? You don't know until after, to be honest. Like it was more, it's, it's, like, a, it's like a frantic dash to like tie the game. Then you tie the game and all we're saying on the bench then is like, oh, we finna get them. Like they just gave, they gave it to you us. Know we, finna, we finna get them. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Finna they're broke, they're yeah. gonna break. Yeah, because like think about how deflating that is, right? For sure. Like, you 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 had a big lead. Luca got to have fifty at the time, right? I don't know how much he scored in overtime, but he's got to have fifty, fifty-two, something like that. Going crazy. We actually tie the game. We get to overtime. Yeah. Let's talk about the Mavs now. You know, upper echelon in the Western Conference. Yeah. The squad mm -hmm. seems to be clicking. And it's something we talked about before you got on here. You know, it seemed like. Everybody always saying, Luca don't got no help. Luca don't got this. Luca don't got that. Yeah. But this squad is buzzing. And for me, I don't know. Do you take that as an insult when people say that? Or are you just like, I don't give a fuck. We're going to go out there and do what we do. Because it ain't, you know, no one person, like we've seen with Bron, you know, with these yeah. Lakers squads, yeah. no one person could just carry a squad. You need everybody to be doing their doing their job and playing their role, playing their position. Yeah. So, um, I mean, like you said, everybody got to do their job, play their role, play their position. Um, what you And you guys are also part of the media. So you know that like we, we don't fuck with the media. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, I don't know them niggas. That's, we don't know one, them. The other, that's one hey, word. Hey, the, you know what I'm saying? The, the other media, you you or media adjacent, you know what I'm okay. saying? You, you, know, say that. you, you hear so. things um and you know that storylines are king, right? So we have a twenty three three year old savant. It's very easy to say that, right? Like Luca's amazing. He's been the the prodigal son and 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 the prodigy from, you know, the beginning. And so it's always going to kind of be like that because his star power is so much further beyond ours, yeah. right? And in a lot of ways, he makes the game easy, easier for us because of that. You're just going to have to deal with some media backlash sometimes off the court. But as long as you're not buying into it, it's not really that big of a deal. Because again, right, the five foot four, you know what I'm saying, dude sitting on his couch like they're saying I'm a bum or whatever it is. <laughs> or, like, listen. I want you to be a fan. I want you to buy jerseys. I want you to you know, be invested in all that stuff. But like, hey, listen, bro. I've averaged twenty points before, bro. Like, I, that's not going. Yeah. That's not yeah. going to face me. It's it's part of the game. You know, Luca is obviously far and away our superstar, and we have other guys that are good players, obviously. But because there's not another like superstar, it's not going to be like 
pitted against, you know what I'm saying? It's not gonna, the light's not gonna be shown against each other and like apples to apples, it's gonna be Luca and the boys. And so you just gotta be mentally tough and, and, and be built for that off the court because like I said, on the court, he's gonna make it a lot easier for you. Like people have been talking about Luca winning MVP since like year two, it feels like. Yeah. You know what I mean? This year feels different. Yeah. You know, like he's been going crazy. Yeah. Like how does like what what's been different this year? Like in his preparation or Oh uh, well, I mean, you gotta remember, I, I've only caught uh Luca's preparation really this year. Okay. Because getting traded midseason last yep. year, yep. um, and, and, and getting on the team, we're already in no practice mode for real. Cause we already making a playoff mm. push and all that other stuff. So, you know, you don't you don't really see it. But in terms of like everything that he's capable of doing. Oh, no, nah. he's a he's a monster. He, he he's a true superstar. We talking about he's got post game. He's got the step back the fades and get to the mid. He's got the little, you know, Luca magic ball fakes and whatnot. He's <laughs> really like the separation between whether he's like really cooking or kind of cooking is if his step back three working. If it's mm -hmm. step back three working, he's hard to guard. Yeah. Like, like I, I don't I don't know what to tell you. If it's step back three is not working, you you may have a chance. Can I ask who the best bucket getter you've played with is? We have like, like a list up here, but who who if you had to pick scorer or or like uh, score bucket? Yeah, we like need a bucket. bucket. Oh, oh, You're biggest, getting it. Biggest bucket. Um, I don't know, man. Luca be hitting some clutch shots, but I, I I would probably say pure pure bucket KD probably. Yeah. But like if if I'm talking about like dominating the game, I would go with Luca. Mm -hmm. Right on. Good yeah. answers. And what makes Luca so dominant? I mean, look, I was watching the Clippers game you guys had recently. And, uh, you know, you guys were trailing for most of the game. They were doubling him a lot. Yeah. And he was just moving the ball around. But, it, you know, once that fourth quarter hit, they kind of pulled back on that double. And he was just – it seemed like there's times when he's just unstoppable. And yeah. the moves, for me, he has a kind of a build, you know. Yeah. Forgot, I'm uh, just saying. He got dad by it. He, he, Yeah, he got yeah. the dad by yeah. So when you – it's <laughs> like moves you would see at the rec center <laughs> at the park. But, you know, we've all been at those parks where dudes got these moves that you just literally can't stop. Yeah. And it's deceptive. So what's it like just seeing him on the court doing that stuff? I think like the one of the biggest pieces about it, he's a little bit uh, quicker than people think, mm. um, and he's like, he's not strong in a sense of like powerful. He's strong in the sense of like really heavy. Okay, mm. yeah, you know I mean, like he's just like he kind of lays on you. Like when he like posts he up, his kinda, body yeah, he's kinda, he's yeah, kinda, yeah. Like if you look at when he posts up, he's kind of like laying on you, and it's it's, it's 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 like this tricky, slow like game, and and, and if you. Like we, we've all played sports or played basketball, or whatever it is, and if you can pick up on somebody's like pattern, even if it's really fast, you can start to guess it, right? And he's kind of like always off beat. Mm. Interesting, yeah, I mean, the awkward his, boxer. Yeah, yeah, his, yeah, his, yeah. And so he'll he might knock out the champion, right, right, just because he's awkward, like Tyson Fury. You can't read yeah. it. Yeah, you, you can't, can't read, read it. it. You're yeah. like like sometimes he goes up for a shot. Oh wow! And then pass it, and you're like, you know what I'm saying? Well, you're you're getting ready to run back on defense, and then the ball's fired to the corner. And you're trying to catch it. You know what I'm saying? All that other stuff. But <laughs> the same way you're surprised, the the defense has no idea what's going on. Yeah, did yeah. It, did it take a moment to adjust to that as a teammate catching that pass? Yeah, for me, it probably took probably took a good ten games to be like, yeah. oh, I get it. He's passing it late, but like for whatever, the the defense still can't pick up on it. Yeah, like at all. Like it, it's amazing. Like, I've seen him. You know. You know, fake, fake, ball fake, center turns his head, like, or center will look up this way. I'm like, bro, he faked a bounce pass. How you looking? <laughs> they they just be, so confused at that point, bro. He just, <laughs> that's, that's why I call Luca Magic. He just be over here just doing his thing. Like, it's crazy.